Hey, what's up YouTube? Uh, today I'm going to show you guys a video on what tools I use to monitor my overclock settings. So um, whenever, if you guys know, overclocking is basically um, increasing your CPUs, your computer's uh, um, processor speed higher than it comes higher than the stock speed. Stock speed is the speed that your CPU comes with when you buy the CPU but overclocking is basically even making that number higher than the amount you bought it at. So but uh, the thing is when you're overclocking you have to make sure that you have a processor that's able to be overclocked. Some processors they don't have the capability to be overclocked um, so, for example, if there is the Intel i7 um, or the yeah i7 2600, right? And then there's another one, the Intel i7 2600K. Basically, that K means that you can overclock that um, processor. But without the K, it means that 2600, um, the stock speed is 3.4, I think it is. So it comes in 3.4, and that's it you can't really overclock it unless you do some really advanced stuff but uh, that's out of the scope of this video this video I'm just gonna show you guys what tools to use to monitor your overclocked settings so you know your CPU is okay nothing's gonna crash and stuff like that okay um, first of all let me just show you that um, on my computer go to computer then you go to system properties you can see that um this uh my stock speed right now is 3.4 gigahertz i haven't overclocked my machine at the moment but uh the since i have the k here i can it, uh i have the potential for that but uh, i'm just going to show you guys cuz i overclock a lot at work i'm just going to show you guys what tools to use it's free and it's just easy to monitor so let's get started first tool is called cpu z so um yeah just type in cpu z on your on google or whatever search browser and go to this website cpuid.com slash software slash cpu z z basically cpu z not z, z whichever way you want to say it <laughs> okay and um from here you can get go to, well, there's a section here latest download latest release so i'm gonna get 1.61 setup in English. When you download it, it might be a newer version. So just click on that and click download now. And you can see here, down here, it started downloading. It's a really quick download, it's not a big program. So uh, I'll double click that to start it. Okay, and then we'll go run. Yes. And let's see, it should be loading. Let me close this. Okay, now this window comes up. You can click next. I accept the agreement. Next. You can go next again. Yep. Uh, here you wanna, uh, you if you wanna install this ask bar you could but it's really a pain it's kinda like advertising all the time so I'm gonna uncheck this and click next I don't want to install so you can see this is kind of like adware it's trying to install other programs as well I mean it's not trying to but it's asking you if you want to it's advertising other programs so but I don't so you gotta be careful make sure not careful but be aware that if you don't uncheck these, these these programs will install. It's not like a virus or anything. It's just programs that I don't want on my computer right now. I'll click continue. Create a desktop icon. Yep. And we'll click next. And install. There you go. <laughs> that was really quick. So it's just, no, I don't want to see the readme file. And click finish. Okay. So, um, that was the first that's the first tool I use I use a total of three tools to monitor and make sure that my computer is staying cool and it's staying um, at the speeds it should be so this is the first tool which is CPU Z um, 
let's see you can see it's installed here I'll open it up yes it's just um, running through all the specs of my computer at the moment and uh, here it is this is the program so you can see right here it's telling me all the all the details of my computer that I have I have a 20 i7 2600k sandy bridge socket 1155 and uh, these are all the voltages that I'm using this these these things are very important when you're overclocking if you're if you're a serious overclocker you you got to keep these in mind and look at the, look at the values so right now the core speed of my of core 0 is 4400 at the moment so that's core you can right click anywhere on the screen i can right click here 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 so i7 basically it has four cores on it four physical cores so right now all my cores are running at 4 4400 which um ac according to this right so this is just good to keep in track keep all your um all the cpu details in track you can check your cpu your caches on your cpu um, main board my motherboard information it's really it's really good because it tells you all the details uh, it's very in depth in depth so memory tells me all the memory details and these are the different memory slots slot one two three four I have four slots on my motherboard and it tells you all the voltages and stuff like that so it's it, it, it's very very good to monitor your system see everything is running properly my graphics card and uh, yeah that's pretty much it so <laughs> as I went through this you guys pretty much saw all the specs of my computer at the moment yeah, sorry about that guys um, yeah so uh, these are all the details of my computer and this is very important when you're over overclocking because you can watch uh, watch these uh, watch the different numbers go up or down depending on uh, whatever you're doing so it's good to monitor your system so this is the first tool um now uh um I'll end this video and I'll head over to the next one. I'll leave the link in this in this video so make sure you guys check out part 2 of my overclock monitoring guide. So uh, thanks a lot guys. Uh we are see you in the next video.